All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, what we're going to do here is show you guys how to replace the grommets that are on our uh, valve cover bolts. All right, in this particular design, we have a valve cover bolt and there is a shoulder with a washer on there. And these grommets uh, come new in the package. All right, so we're going to take that off and replace it with that. And in order to do that, you got to extract these from the actual uh, valve cover. All right, grab the hold of it like that. What you're gonna do is pull that grommet off of there. Okay, and this is what you're left with. That part is uh, mobile right there, and it stays and is captured by the threads of the bolt. All right, to replace that grommet, you want to make sure that you wipe this off if it has any residue any old of the uh, old uh, grommet on there you want to get that off there install that and then this has got a little lip in it right here that corresponds to a receiver down in the valve cup so once you snap it in there all right it's captured all right so uh, as that's captured right there uh, we can move on to the next ones all right and you can pull those out, install them in there, all right, and they're captured. So once again, we're going to take that grommet off of this one, all right, just like that. Again, wipe that off if it has any residue or anything on it, okay? And put that on there like that. And if I get this real, real close, May be able to see the little shoulder there. All right. And again, I'm going to go ahead and install this right in the valve cover. Push it down, it clicks in, and now it's captured. Okay. So now for the other side, uh, we'll go around and do all of those uh, grommets just like that. And we're going to flip this over and show you guys the other side. Okay. And we have the spark plug tube seals. Here, and those all need to be uh, extracted um, you want to be careful uh, picks are sharp you want to get yourself a nice little set of picks out you may need two or three different ones all right but the idea is to not damage the surface this is aluminum and we want to be careful with that so we're just going to go ahead and gently extract those out those old ones as you can see are all brittle all right and probably see the cracks in that pretty good okay and then obviously like i said the uh the new ones are going to be nice and supple all right and they're going to fit right in there beautifully all right and you want to clean those out again um, clean all free and dry clean that groove out all right and we're going to install that Most O-ring type seals like this got something on them that helps grab the, uh, the actual um, part in there. And this has a little corresponding lip. As I hold this very still, you can see that there is some contour to that. All right. So as we extract the old one, we want to make sure that we put those in in the correct orientation. All right. Take that out again brittle and cracking okay we're going to use our pick here all right the back side of our pick and a paper towel all right and go around take our new tube seal again this is sealing from the oil getting down into what is going to be where the spark plug ignition coil is all right so each one of these goes around a corresponding cylinder and the ignition coil itself all right we're going to do the rest of these and then we'll move on to the valve cover all right so we uh, went ahead and uh, picked this out a little bit and if we're real real lucky uh, we'll be able to extract this all the way around
Now we've got to clean that out. A little bit of brake clean, um, some cleaning solvent, uh, brake clean oil, um, uh, removes oil real well, and uh, alcohol could also be used. Um, if you have a flat surface, and this is aluminum, if there was a flat surface there, you would want to use a plastic razor blade, not anything metal. All right, but we want to clean that channel all out, clean oil free and dry. We'll go ahead and do that and be right back to you. Remember when you're using brake clean, we want to have our safety glasses on. Get that in your eye, you are going to be a sorry, sorry individual. Can use that wand, put that in there, and you know, less is more, guys. Uh, you don't have to, uh, you know, hose it down or anything. But uh, getting down in the channel here, all right. Let it run downhill. Notice how I got it on an angle, all right. So the brake clean can run down through here, and uh, may need several pieces of paper towel. We'll get that all cleaned out and lay out our new gasket. You don't want to force this. Uh, it does go down into a groove in this particular design. All right. Um, we kind of want to let it lay naturally, if you will. Um, don't pull, stretch, or bind um, this up in any way. Let it fall where it may. And um, once you have it all in place, you should have a pretty good fit. Um, gasket companies are real good about quality these days, um, even though they may not come from uh, great, great places in the world when it comes to the manufacturing points still uh, got a pretty high degree of quality with a good name brand. Felpro or Mala. Uh, Mala makes good gaskets. Felpro makes okay gaskets for the most part. Um, and uh, Victor Wrights, all of those. All right, so like I said, once this is down in there, you're gonna be able to tell that it's sitting in the groove all the way around all right and if it's not work it in there and make sure it's not bound up or rolled or anything and take a good eyeball look at it you know lay it out look at it and if you see any high spots or anything that looks like like right there all right that it's not down in the channel or gripped in there properly um, make your adjustments and we're going to clean the corresponding uh, surface. Again, uh, the surface that the cylinder head has for this particular design is going to be a flat surface. And we're going to use a plastic scraper and um, some more rags and some more brake clean. Remember, we don't want to get a bunch of brake clean into the uh, engine compartment, uh, into the engine itself. All right, and uh, certainly don't want to get it on our customer's vehicle anywhere. So we're going to spray it on the rag away from the vehicle. Come back in, clean, scrape, clean, scrape until we have a clean, uh, oil-free and dry surface. All right.